So it's generally known that you should probably plot K32s. You don't bother really with K33s or K34s unless you're like trying to maximize or perfect space on your hard drive. But in terms of performance, running K32s is the best. So, so is what people say, but I don't know if that's quite true. What's up guys. My name is Austin. Welcome to the Chia Collective, the channel for all things Chia. By the way, I think I'm gonna have to change the name because Chia is technically licensed. So I'm thinking of some new names, but if you guys got something or a good idea, throw it my way. I'll, I'll give it some thought. What I wanted to talk about today, and there's no definitive answer right now. I'm just, if you guys are watching this video and you're looking for like a, this is the right answer. This is not that kind of video. This is more of my thoughts. And I wanted to share them with you. What's going in through my head right now in terms of plotting. Okay. And specifically K32 versus K33. Now we know that in theory, K32 is the more optimal in terms of like benefits, you know, one K32 or one K33 is worth two K32s. And that's like, they're proportional in that way. And in terms of plotting, it's like, well, K33 takes longer. So why bother? But now that I'm thinking about it, there might be some cert like special circumstances in which plotting K33s might be better. And that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. So if you guys saw my video about my Chia system, right? I have a Threadripper and I have essentially three NBNEs plugged in. I have an Intel P4618 and then two Intel P4510s, right? And they're plugged in and they work. I've been chasing basically some of these other plotters. There are some people that have been saying that they get over like a hundred plots a day on that single Threadripper system. So basically my system should be able to, uh, Theoretically, according to people on the internet, if you believe them, turn out a hundred plots a day. And I haven't gotten that close. You know, I get probably 60, 65 on like on a good day. And so I've been just trying to understand my own system and where the bottlenecks are. Is it my CPU? Is it my NVMe? Am I not putting enough RAM? My phasing and staggering wrong? And there's been a lot of kind of just exploration in terms of what I've been trying to figure out. And I think I've finally narrowed it down. This is my hypothesis, but this is what I think is going to be the limiting factor. And for me, it's the fact that I don't have a ton of NVMEs. So when you think about parallelism, you want, you know, a lot of the really fast builds instead of having like three big drives, like I do, they have like seven, two terabyte NVMEs. And so each one's a lot smaller, but you can run a lot of them. And I think what we're seeing with those systems is you're actually able to put, you know, you, you put less on each one and it performs a little bit faster. I think once you start crowding an MVME with a lot of plots or going like parallel. So for example, right, I have like four terabyte P5510. I can put tons of, I can put tons of plots on there all at once, right? The theoretical limit is, you know, almost, I think 15, right? On that four terabytes. Um, so like looking at that, if I put 15 on that one drive, my time's just, they just, right? It's like adding more slows it down. And I don't know if that's the right speed of the NVMe that can't keep up or if it's like the input output that's going through the CPU. And so if you're in my position and what's happening is like, you're adding, if you, you're the rest of your system can handle a lot of parallelism, but eventually you're hitting some bandwidth limits. Maybe it makes sense to plot K33s, right? Before we jump into it, if you guys are new to this channel, do me a huge, huge favor, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. It really lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and it helps you guys because you guys get notifications when my new videos are out. I think there's still a ton of information that needs to be kind of shared amongst the general population when it comes to Chia. And I feel like it's my duty to do that. I did a test and essentially what I did was if you looked at my system, I kind of run, I try to run about 30 plots in parallel. Um, and what ended up happening was I took one of my MVME drives and dedicated it toward plotting K33s. And with that, I looked at the K33s and I actually just looked at the times and kind of compared it with the K32s that were running across the board. And so the results were interesting. And with the K33, after I, I ran through one full set, cause the full set's always gonna be, the first initial one's always gonna be faster. I ran through that one. I ran through a second one, second set. And with the K33, 
what I ended up doing was that plot time was 17 hours. And the way it broke down was, it was about five, I think it was like five, five and a half hours in phase one, almost three in phase two, and then another five and a half, six in phase three, right? And that's where the bulk of the time went. Phase four didn't see that much incremental time, maybe a little, like 30 minutes. I don't remember off the top of my head, but K33, whole thing, about 17, 17 and a half hours. Now, K32, right? What's interesting is when I run a bunch of K32 in parallel, my K32s take about 10 and a half hours to do. And so if you think about that, that's an interesting outcome because a K33 is worth two K32s, right? And so if you can do a K33 in 17, 17 and a half hours, that means that I'm basically generating K32s at eight and a half hours instead of the 10 and a half that I normally do. And so that's basically the results of my test right now. I now need to jump in and actually test it. But it's a really interesting concept because everyone stresses parallel, running as much in parallel as you can, but I think a lot of people lose the efficiency message. Like you have to be efficient with how you're plotting. If you run, you know, a ton in parallel, but they're all taking a really, really long time, that might not be as good as running a few in parallel, but they're kind of going quick, right? And so I think this might be a rare instance for people, but if you might, if you end up with like large NBMEs, like I do, I have basically three, right? And they're all big and they can fill a lot of space, but at the same time, like, you know, I can't run as much in parallel because adding parallel plots slows them down, then maybe K33 might be better, right? If I can stagger it and get K33 to a, you know, a certain degree, like if I can plot enough K33s, it might be actually faster to do that than it is to do K32s. Right now, you know, I'm doing 60 to 65 plots a day. And you know, it's because my K32s take 10 and a half hours and you look at the stagger, it's finishing at a certain rate. But let's just say that I can get even, if I can get 30 K33s done in a day, right? Then I've tied my K32 production. Now, if I can even get it to like 40 K33s done in a day, then I am outperforming what the K32 setup was like. And so this is something that I really want to experiment with because it sounds kind of feasible. I'm not 100% sure. I'm still running some analyses. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out like an optimal plot time given the fact that it takes 17 hours to do. But it's sounding like, you know, if I fire off, let's say eight, is that right? Yeah, eight K33s all at once and then put like a two and a half, almost two hour, 45 minute stagger. So they're just kind of moving through. So basically halfway through phase one, another set of eight come through and then boom, maybe we might see some interesting performance from there. Um, and so I'm trying to play around with that and that's where I'm at right now. And so I'm not recommending you guys start plotting K33s. Let's make that clear, okay? This is more of once again, like a hypothetical theory crafting episode where I just wanted to throw this idea at you because I would love to talk with other people about this and open up a conversation. If you guys have any thoughts, feel free to comment in the disc or comment either in the discord, which is in the description below or leave a comment in the video, like on this video. And we can, we can talk about it because I don't know why, but I find myself pretty obsessed with plotting optimization. And who knows why? I mean, we all know the long term, what matters the most is the amount of hard drive space you have, but plotting is, it's fun. It's definitely something that's enjoyable. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to wrap it up. It's hopefully a quick one. Hopefully it gets you guys thinking. If this is something that you guys are really excited, once again, please do me a huge, huge favor. Click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. See you next time. Peace.